you guys, 2018 was a pretty good year for video games. I'm not going to lie. Um, I wouldn't say it was as good as 2017 per se, um, but still pretty good. That being said, I was pretty disappointed with um, some of the behavior of some of the game developers this year and some of the poor decisions they made. Uh, but that's a whole other video I'm working on. Uh, watch out for that. Also, this video isn't exclusive to games that came out this year. They're just ones that I played for the first time this year. Um, that being said, most of them are released this year. Darwin Project is like Fortnite, uh, but it's actually fun. Uh, I can explain. Okay. No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we can, we can talk about this, dude. We can, we can talk about this. Uh, um, you're clearly a lot better than me. Uh, stop jumping. You're gonna waste your stamina. Uh, thanks, I, thanks. Oh, I'm dead. GG. Also, nukes. Nuclear missile has landed on Northwest Zone. In Osu, you click circles. I don't. What? Why is this so fun? And enter the gungeon, you shoot bullets out of guns at bullets while the bullets shoot you with their own bullets out of their own guns. Uh, there's anywhere from one to about a billion bullets on the screen at once, and if you die, you restart the entire game from the beginning. The Forest is a survival horror game where you crash land on an island and some red dude takes your kids, so you scavenge for resources, build up your skills, then wind up building a cabin for 4 hours, and then uh, you accidentally destroy it in about 30 seconds. Um, so you're like, screw this, you decide to move further inland, where you discover some weird ass arm monsters, so you say f*** this and build a houseboat because they can't swim. But then you remember you're supposed to be saving your son, so you go into a giant ass sinkhole but get lost, find a chainsaw, kill a turtle, build a bigger cabin, and I'll let you experience the rest for yourself. In Bendy and the Ink Machine, you get called back to an abandoned cartoon company by your friend with an ink fetish who decides to make the ink come alive. Um, you know, I don't think they ever mentioned why he made it come alive, he just one day woke up to said, yeah. If I made Inca uh, have a heartbeat, that'd be pretty cool. Wizard of Oz is a game about killing people with magic. I played Little Nightmares way back in 2017, but the third part expansion came out in 2018, like February I think, and it's just so creepy.
We all know Super Smash Brothers. Iconic video game characters smash the ever-living crap out of each other. Uh, notice how I said iconic. So why is Waluigi not in here, Nintendo? Okay, come on, Nintendo. Give the people what we want. We want Waluigi. It's Waluigi time, Nintendo. What do we got, like, four DLC slots left? One of those better be Waluigi. And the other three better also be Waluigi. And there better be a secret extra one, which should be Skull Kid. I want Skull Kid too, really badly. In Celeste, you climb a mountain. You play as this little redhead who gains special abilities because of the mountain and never questions it even once. Like, even when part of her personality escapes from her mind and torments her as she climbs the mountain, she just never questions it. She's like, yeah, this is, this is fine. Also, it's free on Xbox right now, okay? This is my second favorite game that I played this year, and it's free on Xbox, okay? I need you to get it now. I need you to go out, get on your Xbox if you have one, and if you don't have one, go out and buy an Xbox, and then just download Celeste. That's all you have to do. Okay, moving on. That's right, you guys. My number one game that I played in 2018 came out in 2017 it's hollow Knight. i'm sorry but it's just so good the world of this game is so much fun to explore steam says i've played this game for 60 hours and i'm still finding new stuff that i haven't found yet i there's still five enemies i haven't even encountered yet haven't even seen hollow knight is just a great game and you should play it it's only 15 dollars, so no excuses Seriously though guys, Celeste is free on Xbox this month, get it now or I'll never talk to you again.